Hello, I'm Izzy, a Democrats Abroad Germany at-large member from Wisconsin. November is the month of our American holiday Thanksgiving. For the November Coffee Talk video, the Democrats Abroad Germany Frankfurt group thought it might be interesting to hear from our members about what things we can thank the Democrats for having done to help make the United States of America a better country. Hi, I'm Karsten. I recently attended a meeting of Democrats in Munich. And the one thing that I'm thankful for is getting to know the young people in the party. They are the people that I have hopes for and that are the hope for America, for the better of America. They are the ones that will fulfill the dreams that we all have for better America. In the course of this film, you will get to know a number of members of the Frankfurt chapter, all having to say a few words under the theme, being thankful as a Democrat here in Germany. Thank you very much. There are many things to be thankful about for the Democratic Party and the Democrats themselves. I believe a very important piece of legislation and idea was to recognize the constituency, the disabled constituency in the United States. A Democratic representative, Tom Harkin, from Iowa, was the pioneer behind the American Disabilities Act. And this American Disabilities Act opened the door, opened the way for Americans, not only Americans with disabilities, but it recognized a constituency worldwide. People who needed attention, people who needed policy and legislation to address their issues. Not always problems, just issues. Issues in negotiating themselves in our, our society, being able to come to the workplace, access to health care, and I think that um, this was a great, I think, a landmark in legislation and a very significant legislator, and he was a Democrat, and I'm thankful for that. I'm Dennis. I live here in Germany's most international city, Frankfurt am Main. I'm very thankful to be here today. I'm very thankful that I live in Germany, where I got a liver transplant four years ago. I'm a firm believer in President Obama and offering public health care is a public right. It's necessary, it's needed. I congratulate our president for getting this finally through after 100 years of trying in the United States. It's about time. We've got a great president. We should be thankful. Make sure we get this guy reelected. Hi, I'm Tim, an American attorney in Frankfurt, Germany. And this Thanksgiving, I'm thankful to the Democrats for their tradition of strong financial regulation. In the 1930s, when the, in the Great Depression, when banks were failing and markets were tanking, Franklin Delano Roosevelt and the Democratic administration passed strong financial regulation that markets had to make transparent the deals they were offering to people, and banks had to take precautions that they wouldn't fail. That worked. It worked for 50 years, 60 years, it created, helped create the prosperity that I grew up in as an American, and it's an approach to making markets work for people that I think the Democratic Party today is still going to uphold and work for. Hi, I'm Beverly Seebach. When I moved to Europe over 25 years ago, I experienced mixed reactions from locals when they learned that I'm American. It depended probably on previous contact they'd had with Americans or possibly their age. But beginning sometime in 2001, and especially after 9-11 and America's war on terrorism, the U.S. stature in the world really eroded. According to opinion polls, there was a widespread dismay over the Iraq war. This everybody for themselves social model and the arrogance of a superpower that places itself above an international law. But thankfully, beginning in 2008, with the selection of Barack Obama as a Democratic Party presidential candidate, someone with a middle-class upbringing who had advanced because of his hard work and its education, America's image in the world improved greatly. Democrats stand for affordable and quality health care. They support a tax structure to provide more services and better services, favor a policy of developing domestic renewable energy, and believe that the government should protect the environment. Because of these views in the present administration, the U.S. is, thankfully, 
again admired and respected in the world. Hello, my name is Ron Larson. I'm uh, living here in Germany and have been a lifelong Democrat. And one of the reasons that I'm thankful for the Democratic Party is that within the American political sphere that there is a party that treasures the social good above the individual rights. The other party tends to take the individual and put them in a privileged position in uh, comparison to the society. And what they ignore are basic infrastructure, basic needs that the society as a whole needs. That is why I am thankful for the Democratic Party. My name is Jim Black. I'm a corporate lawyer in Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, I'm a lifelong Democrat and, and proud to say that. Uh, the things that make me proud to be a Democrat are really the, the values that the party stands for. It's not so much individual legislative accomplishments, although those are very important. It's not so much individual policies. It's really the things that the party stands for. And the party, to me, stands for the most important values that America stands for, which are freedom, equality, justice, uh, tolerance, compassion, and a real belief in the democratic process itself. Hi, I'm Revis. I was married on September 11th, 1987. Since 9-11, I celebrate my anniversary in a different way. For one, I'm very, very thankful for the bravery of all the firefighters who rushed to save people as they could in the burning towers. I'm thankful to the Democrats because they support strong firefighters, they support strong teachers, strong police, that we all as a people have the social services that we need. Thank you, Democrats.